Good morning guys. I felt like vlogging today and maybe I'll vlog for the rest of the week. We'll see how we get on because I have some very exciting projects to shoot. So I thought it would be nice to take you guys along with me. Just a little skin update. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'll see that I've complained about my skin here and there, but look how much my skin has improved since I've been home. So Bash and I, we decided to take like this allergy test, not allergy test, um, intolerance test to see what we're intolerant to. And both of our tests came back with um, gluten at the top and it was red. So that me meant that we're like severely intolerant to gluten. I cannot tell you how much gluten we eat. We eat past, like we would honestly have pasta like three times a week bread with every other meal. So we completely cut that out and it's improved my skin so much. And I think just having like a healthy routine, we've been going to the gym every day, we've been going on walks every day, we've been eating really healthy. So just all of this contributes towards a fresh face. And not to mention, I have also been using some really amazing products. So I thought I'd show you guys the products that I've been using. And yeah, look at it. It's way better than it was. So I'm really happy and it's crazy how when you have good skin, it just boosts your confidence. And I feel really confident at the moment. So I feel like I've shown you guys this product before, but this is my cleanser that I've been using. It's the Dior Mousse On Off. So if you know me, I love a foaming cleanser and this Dior cleanser does just the thing. And it's just so light and it's hydrating, which is just, that's all I ask for in a cleanser. And I don't really tend to like cleansers that have a really strong um, perfume scent. So this is really clean and really light. So that's my cleanser that I've been using. So when cleaning my face, I literally use just like a tiny, tiny bit, like so. It's so important to go to bed with a clean face, even though I've just woken up. It's also important to clean your face after you wake up. However, one thing that I know, and I have heard that if you go to sleep with your makeup on and you don't take it off or clean your face, it's the equivalent of keeping your makeup on for five days. Isn't that crazy? Think what that does to your skin. So if you're not very good, and keeping a skincare routine, today is the day to start it because your skin will, it will thank you later, I promise. I could honestly just be here all day mixing in my cleanser because I love a clean face. I feel like overnight your skin can build up a, quite a lot of dust. So I always make sure my skin is extra, extra clean by using some micellar water. And then I just lightly use that over my face and you'll be so surprised to see how much like dirt and dust builds up on your face overnight. My face is pretty clean today, today, but still like, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is like the odd dust strand here and there. Before applying moisturizer, I love to have a smooth surface to apply it onto. So I use this lotion peeling by Dior and it ha it contains a number of acids and it does exfoliate the face a little bit but also leaves it feeling so smooth and honestly it's just a great base before applying any moisturizers or um, lotions that you're going to use so I just really gently apply that all over the face. I feel like it's really hydrating, which is my main goal when using skincare. So this is just a really nice touch. I was recently gifted this Lema Moisturizing Soft Cream and I love it. Look, I'm pretty much at the bottom of the tub. And again, it doesn't have too much of a strong smell to it and it's so moisturizing and nourishing for my skin. I do think this has helped clear it a little bit, so I'm just going to apply that. 
And that's pretty much my skincare routine for the morning because I don't want to apply too many products right now whilst my skin is improving. And I do think that at times less is more. So I don't want to go too heavy with loads of different moisturizers and lotions. So that is my simple skincare routine. As I said, I've been having a celery juice literally every day for the past week. And I can tell you because of this, my skin is glowing. Like there hasn't been anything that has made my skin feel as healthy as it is at, at the moment. And I do think it is down to this bad boy. Um, so when making a celery juice, you have to get organic celery because this is the celery that's gonna hold the most nutrients. And it's honestly, it's really easy you just put it through a juicer and then you drink it straight away. Apparently it's not good to leave it too long and it is meant to be consumed as quick as possible because it can start to get a little bit bitter and yeah. And it's also important for celery to be the first thing you drink before you eat or drink anything else in the day. So this is the first thing that's going to go into your body and that is the way to drink celery juice. Okay, let's make one. Amazing, look how much green goodness is from one celery. With celery, you either love it or you hate it, and I think I kind of love it. And honestly, by having celery juice every day, it just boosts my energy levels as well. Like, I'll have a celery juice, and then I'll go and walk the dog for an hour, and I'm not feeling, like, really, really hungry or tired because I know that this green goodness is up inside me. This is a new regular healthy snack slash early lunch or for some of you who do have breakfast that we've been making, chia seed pudding. And honestly, it's so easy. You just put chia seeds in with a milk and you leave it overnight and it creates this like gloopy consistency. But honestly, it's so tasty and it's full of protein and it's really, really good for you. So I'm gonna make myself a little chia seed pudding bowl because I'm very hungry this morning, so. So I've transferred it into a bowl and I'm gonna add some peanut butter. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. There's, there's nothing better than a fresh tub of peanut butter because sometimes when you get to the end of a tub, it gets quite hard and not very gloopy and look at that Ooh. this is honestly such a healthy and tasty alternative to something like cereal because there's way more goodness in this than a bowl of cereal even like acai bowls have contained so much sugar which is not good but they're fairly healthy i'd say Whenever I'm eating peanut butter, I've got someone who loves it just as much as I do. Is that good? Are you lucky? Yes, is that good? Look at that tongue. Just a little bit. Good girl. You've been a good girl. And the fruit that I'll be adding to my bowl is blueberries. Do you know what? I have to actually do a video showing how to make the chia seed pudding. It's, or you guys can Google it, it's so easy, but next time I'll show you how to actually do it. So blueberries. So this is how it's looking so far. And I like to add bananas to it. Our bananas are not looking very ripe today. They're still green, so. I'm not sure. Shall I open one up, Bash, and see what it's saying inside? I don't think it's worth it. But I really want a banana with it. Mm. Okay. Let's not risk getting sick with an unripe banana. Is 
there anything else we could put on it? I bought uh, goji berries. Oh! Goji berries. So Bash bought some goji berries, so I'll add some goji berries to it. If this is smoking up this video, it's because I have incense burning right next to the camera, so apologies. The benefits of goji berries is they are antioxidants and they are high in vitamin C. So this is just a bowl of health and it will get me going for the rest of the day. Look at that guys. That is my chia seed pudding bowl. Oh, that's a lot of goji berries on one spoon. Mmm. Mmm. The goji berries make it really crunchy. Mmm. So what a great way to start the day with a celery juice and a chia seed pudding bowl. Okay. I'm going to get ready for the rest of the day. Let's find an outfit to wear. I don't know what to wear. Okay, so I really quickly put on some makeup and I didn't realize how little time I had left to get ready. I have to go and shoot a reel for Longchamp. So I'm going to get changed to my look and I'm excited. So this is my crazy outfit for the day. I have a matching top to go over the leggings and the jacket is so... And I really have to go. Okay, let's go. Bye. So we're on location shooting the Longchamp bag. And it's perfect because it's a bakery and we have our baguettes in there. So here we have Archie filming. And it's a beautiful day. The light's, yeah, the light's so good. Yeah. I think the grill's gonna look really good. Cool. I'll use this at some point as well. It's a very cool cap. It's a GP. GP? You're a flag girl at the F1. We just finished shooting and now we're racing home to get changed for an event this evening with Prada. But the shoot went really, really well and I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I think the overall project is going to look so good. And yeah, Archie knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly which shots I wanted. Uh, by the time I post this video, I won't have posted the reel yet, so I can't show you guys. But if you follow me on Instagram, keep an eye out. So yeah, it's honestly, it's so hot today. I am sweating, so I'm gonna go home, shower, freshen up for tonight's event which I'm very excited about because Prada is one of my favorite brands to work for and their clothes are so beautiful. So yeah, it's gonna be a lovely evening and then we're gonna get dinner, so I'll take you guys along. Okay, so I'm now ready for my Prada event. Excuse all the mess behind me, but I literally had half an hour to get ready to top up my makeup and get dressed and do the rest of the housework, boring stuff, but I'm finally ready, so. This is what I'm wearing. It's very dreamy. I feel like this is perfect for like a picnic on a hot summer's day. I just feel really girly and cute. And then the shoes. Good old Prada loafers. And I also thought I'd show you guys the bag that I'm wearing with this outfit. This shape bag is my favorite shape. I just think it looks so nice on like the shoulder like this. Ah, I'm loving this outfit. What do you think, Bash? Love it. Very summer. Look at the weather. Perfect. The weather is beautiful. Okay. I feel like we have been rushing around all day. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I finished shooting and it went so quickly that was such a smooth and simple shoot and now we're gonna get some food we're thinking of passing by Mimi Mayfair which is like a Chinese Asian spot we walked past it a few months back and just decided let's try this place and it was so good 
So we're going to eat. Hey Bash, you're looking very tanned. London, London weather, you know. Look, it's such a nice day today. I'm just walking around in a t-shirt. Makes such a difference to the vibe. home back from dinner which was so good wasn't it bash yeah i don't really like chinese food but that place is like yeah we we when it comes to takeaways or going out to eat we don't tend to go for chinese food but this one place mimi mayfair is the place that we make an exception for because the food is so fresh and it's not too greasy um and yeah it's just so delicious the fish was it looked quite scary but i i'm not a big fish eater but this fish was so good and it wasn't fishy at all it was just full of flavor it was spicy salty just how i like it so if you ever go try it was the dover sole so good and the egg fried rice is amazing i love egg fried rice and that one is one of the best ones that I've ever had so that's saying something. Good morning guys. Oh, I'm gutted. Today ended up being a complete write-off. Nothing went to plan. It's fine everything happens for a reason but it's just so annoying because like me and Bash had the whole day planned out so now the day is not ruined but um it just hasn't gone to plan and yeah so also i would just really wanted to get this shoot done because it just like when i know i have a project to shoot it's on my mind all day like okay like i hope that it goes to plan i hope i get the pictures that i want so now um i'm just gonna be thinking all day like am i gonna be able to rearrange a new date to shoot and um bash goes away tomorrow so I won't have him to shoot me but anyway we're waiting to hear back from the hotel because they are so lovely and they have very kindly said that they're going to find um an alternative location for us so let's see oh i actually have many boxes to unbox so at least i have the morning to do that so let's go and see what's inside these packages i have recently received hi to tequila you saying hello? Say hello. Speak. Good girl. Oh, she is the best. I love you. I love you. Okay, so I have many boxes to go through. So I thought it would be really fun to go through it with you guys. One thing me and Bash bought, which we're so excited about, is this sage rice cooker. If you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, you'll see how much I love cooking. So this is really exciting for us because it so it frees up one more hob on our little on our stove because we're always cooking multiple dishes and then the rice takes up a hob. So now that we have a rice cooker that can be completely separate and we'll be able to store our rice overnight and just be able to warm it up inside the rice cooker. It's just amazing. And then not only does it cook rice, it cooks other things. Stews, dumplings, everything. Just to be clear, guys, this isn't an ad um, for Sage rice cookers. It was just something we were genuinely excited about buying. I received a little package from Atico in the post. Very excited to see what's inside because I've never actually received anything from Attico, but I know how gorgeous their dresses are and their bikinis. So it's quite fun to be able to receive a little something from Attico. Ooh. A little swimsuit that is going to look very sexy. That's really cute. I actually love the color. And then the back, it's all cut out. I'm actually very intrigued to see what this will look, look like on. Well, 
you guys will see on Instagram. Okay, so we have a brown box. I have a bunch of gifts piling up. I'm very, very grateful. Okay, so this is from Breckenbridge. Breckenbridge, they're based in Australia. And I, I've always loved their pieces. They're always so well made and um, really nice cut dresses and shorts and shirts and ooh, what's this? Is this a skirt? Oh, it's a long white. Oh, it's a dress. <gasps> That's really beautiful. Another box. I think this might be from Etro because I can tell by the pattern of the box that it's very Etro style. I know what this is. <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. Look at this leather bag from Etro. So I actually have to shoot a project for them and I have to include this bag. So I'm very excited to shoot that. And the size is perfect. I thought it was gonna be really big, but it's, it's not, it's a great size. Very nice. We purchased a top up of our AG1, which is a food supplement that contains 75 different minerals and um, vitamins and you just mix a sachet with cold water and it's honestly it's so healthy for you it gets me going in the morning and we just feel really good when we drink it not an ad just genuinely something that's part of our routine um if i start my morning with a celery juice i don't really tend to have an ag1 in the morning but if i feel like i'm getting a bit tired during the day i'll have it in the afternoon and it's very green and very healthy box are some salamons my dad he saw me wearing mine and he loved them so much that i bought him a pair so i'm not going to open them up because they're for him but that's what's in here so this is the one parcel i've been so excited to open whenever there's a big yellow box you know it's going to be very good so this is from my teresa i believe this is their summer gifting package and it also came with a wicker tote bag that has my name on it. Anything personalised is so fun. So this is perfect for the beach. Okay, so I thought I'd talk you through the My Teresa gifting. It's a really nice one, this one. I am... Um, but it's very, it's making me want to go on a vacation and I'm not going away until, well, I'm not going away on a summer beachy holiday slash poolside holiday until July. So it's not long. We've got a month until we can wear these bad boys, but these bikini crochet bottoms are super cute and they are from Anna excuse me if i can't pronounce this right but anna kosturova anna kosturova um and the color is so nice it's like a burnt orange and these are my favorite shades of colors like mustard yellows and burnt oranges and then this is like a a matching bikini top with a little matching waistcoat which is so cute with the shells at the bottom here. I love that, that is gonna look so nice on top of the bikini. This is how the skirt looks. I think that is really cute. So if you're wearing the bikini on the beach and you wanna go for lunch, you can just cover up with this skirt. And then there was a book inside, it says life. I feel like it's just going to be full of aesthetics. Yeah, vibes. I love picture books. I love... Also, like, receiving books like this gives me inspiration for my own shoots, so they're always really nice to receive. And then a My Teresa pillow which is actually going to be so nice for like when I'm out in the garden and I want to just like lay on the grass or go for a picnic. 
then this is great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the likes. Um, it really means a lot to me and I do read all of the comments. So keep commenting and make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Let's keep this going as I am really enjoying using this platform. It's so, so fun. So yeah, thank you guys for all the positive support and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.